The Buddha said that one of the duties of a teacher is to provide protection for the student in all directions. Now, this doesn't mean that the teacher goes running around after the student, putting up an umbrella when it rains, getting in the way if a car is going to run into you. What the teacher has to do is to provide you with a teaching that you follow, and in following it you make yourself safe. For example, his teachings on karma. As he said, there is a real reason for being careful about what's a skillful action, what's not a skillful action. He says if a teacher doesn't provide you with that kind of foundation, he's leaving you bewildered and exposed, because you have no protection. Your protection comes when you develop a quality of heedfulness. You realize that if you act skillfully, you protect yourself from dangers, and if you act unskillfully, then you're leaving yourself wide open. In fact, as Buddha once said, that heedfulness is the path to the deathless. Well, people who are heedless are as if already dead. So we follow his teachings, and he said that the Dharma protects those who practice it. We don't create any bad karma through our thoughts, our words, our deeds. And how is bad karma going to come to us? We may have some bad karma from the past, but as long as we keep our minds well trained in the present moment, we don't have to suffer from it. He teaches us to have an attitude of unlimited goodwill, unlimited compassion, unlimited empathetic joy, unlimited equanimity. We make our minds enlarged like a big river. You throw a lump of salt into a river and you can still drink the water. If we don't develop our minds in this way, then they're like little tiny cups of water. You throw that same lump of salt in, and you can't drink the water because it's too salty. So if we follow his teachings, we can protect ourselves not only from creating the causes for suffering in the future, but also protect ourselves from past bad karma. And of course, this is a teaching that you can apply anywhere in your life. It's not only for people who are living in a monastery. Teachings on generosity, virtue, meditation are applicable everywhere, which means that they provide protection in all directions. Of course, the teachings ultimately go beyond all directions. You go to nirvana. That's the ultimate safety, which is outside of directions. One of the Thai Johns made a comparison. He says it's like going out into outer space. When you're out there, you can say, which way is north, south, east, or west? Well, there's nothing to measure north or those other things by here outside of those dimensions. In the same way, the ultimate freedom is outside of any direction, in any place. And it's a real safety. In the meantime, as long as we're still living in the world, we need directions so that we're not confused. And so we have a good foundation for deciding what's skillful and what's not, so we can protect ourselves. And that's the kind of protection that can extend in all directions.